Crazy times, hey? And I'm sure um, I'm not alone in feeling what the world's feeling at the moment, this sort of collective uncertainty and fear, worry, I guess, and just not really knowing what's to come. One of the things I was taught many, many years ago uh, in India, actually, back in 2005 by a teacher who really changed my life was to recognize that, you know, even in times of extreme adversity, times of challenge, there's actually a state of your mind that you can access that's more of an observer, more of a witness, more of a, an open acceptance of the present moment, whatever's flowing through it, the good and the bad. And so I'd like to dedicate a little of this practice today to sort of working out how we can, through yoga practice and through just taking these short moments in our daily life, find that state, almost like the sky, that state of mind, it's able to really deal and, and stay open in these challenging times, to not contract as much as everybody is. So with that in mind, we'll be just enjoying many short moments throughout this slow flow practice this morning and uh, enjoy getting your day started in a pretty positive way. If you'd like to close your eyes for a moment, come into a comfortable position, take your hands onto your knees and allow yourself in this precious, quiet time just to arrive. And if you're like me, I'm sure you've been watching way too many news feeds, way too many blog posts. So I'd invite you for a moment just to simply let your mind acknowledge what's been going on in that stream of consciousness lately. As you close your eyes and settle into your body, just acknowledge all the stuff that's been flowing through your mind of late. The news reports, the reports from overseas, Maybe the fears around your own health, your family, your work, your income, your parents. And I'd like you just to even for a moment allow your posture to reflect that kind of heaviness you may have been feeling. Go with it for a moment. Drop into it and just acknowledge maybe where you've been in your body. Maybe that feeling of kind of sinking, a heaviness in the chest a tiredness, a staticky in your brain. Just go with it. Let your posture reflect that heaviness for a moment. Notice what it's actually been feeling like inside your skin as you allow those thoughts, feelings and emotions that have been flowing through your mind stream to just be present there now. But then I invite you to do something because posture changes everything. I want you to shift your mindset and think instead about something, one simple thing that you've got to celebrate right now, to feel good about. Something that's going well, the smallest thing or something big. Just bring something to mind, a possibility. And as you bring that to mind, I want you to make a postural shift to reflect your choice to rise up and stand tall in these moments of challenge and adversity. Start to lengthen your spine. Roll the shoulders back. Sit tall, proud, resilient and strong in your body in this moment and allow the next three breaths to reflect that state of body mind and heart where you want to be today. Yes, we're all going to be pulled down, but we have these moment to moment choices to rise up. So breathe in a way that makes you feel better now. Sit in a way that you can be tall, open, expansive. And for that next breath, just feel that state of mind, of possibility, of holding the experiences of this moment in time that will pass, that will change, that allows you to be an open vessel to transform for yourself, your family and others this moment. 
and the only moment that's ever real. And as you begin to breathe a little more deeply now, take your arms and inhale, sweep them into the air until they come together and look up to the fingertips, stretch tall. And as you exhale, lower the hands down into the center of the chest. As you breathe in, go ahead and stretch the arms wide and lift your chest, look up into that sky space. And as you exhale, bring the hands back into the center of the chest. Breathing in, lengthening the arms to the sky, rise up tall. And go ahead and place the hands down onto the knees. As the hands cup the knees, curl the spine, release the shoulders. As you inhale, arch the back, look up. And as you breathe out, go ahead and curl the chin in again, round the back. And we'll repeat that flow a couple of times. Inhale, stretch the arms to the sky, reach tall. And as you exhale, next time, lower the hands into the center of the chest. A feeling of togetherness, of coming together, all parts, and open out from that space. Look up, lift your chest. Exhale, hands come together in the center of your being. Return from center to sky, reach up, grow tall. Meet this moment in fullness. Bring the hands around onto the knees and curl your spine, looking into your center. From center, breathe, roll the shoulders, lift the chest. Exhale, curl one more time, letting all that tension be gone. Now, as you inhale, sweep the arms to the sky, stretch up. Lower the hands down into the center of the chest. Follow your breath one more time. Open from center. Radiate a good positive sense out all the way back in. And this time we'll just add on a little bit. Bring the arms to the air as you inhale. And go ahead and stretch the right arm over onto the floor, leaning across. Pause when you feel to. Maybe look up. Well, maybe even look down for a moment and just check out that vista back behind, stretch the neck. Keeping that hand on the floor, take the top arm across and over and go ahead and pick up your left foot. And as you take a hold of that foot, start to stretch the leg back. These muscles are some of your fear muscles, your quadricep muscles, your psoas muscles. Just release them a little bit. They might feel pretty tight for you. Draw the leg back, maybe even kick the foot back a little. And then slowly place the knee in against the front knee. If you can do that for a moment, great. If not, just sit cross-legged. Go ahead and sweep the arms into the sky. And then place both of the fingers down onto the floor behind you. If it feels good, lift up into an easy back bend. Look up. Feel the chest expand. Pause as you think about something you've got to appreciate in your life and breathe life to that. Maybe the simplicity of a smile changes your state this morning. Roll forward, come down and stretch the arms out in front. And just bow to all that's going on in the world at the moment, to all your fellow souls on this planet that are going through what I believe is probably the first truly unifying event on our planet in all its pain and misery, and yet in all its possibilities that we will grow from this, the stronger and more resilient. Rise up when you're ready. Sweep the arms to the sky. And just for a moment, interlace your fingers and really straighten the elbows. Everything about my body in this posture wants to pull me down. So I want you to make a commitment just to rise up for a moment. Look up, open the throat, and let everything that wants to pull you down reach against that tendency. And breathe one time all the way up. And then twist, right hand to opposite knee, fingers around, behind. Look behind. Allow your spine to be your center, your power, your belly to be your home of sweetness in every breath. Like a prayer flag, let those arms sweep tall, stretch up. And we'll do a little circuit and do the other side of this warm-up in a moment. If your knees will let you, just come over the front of your mat now. Stretch your legs back. Come onto hands and knees when you're ready. Tuck the toes a little bit. 
and have the hands a fraction further of the shoulders. Go ahead and look into your belly, curling the spine. And when you're ready to take a breath in, arch and look up. Stretch back into downward facing dog and feel your body start to wake up. What do you notice in your body in this moment that's a little tight, a little restricted, a little resistant? Can you take your awareness to that and with a warmth and a compassionate heart, just meet yourself in the feeling tone of your body as it is, where you're at. Hold space for yourself to just be as you are and breathe one time in fullness. When you're ready, come on forward to an easy plank or lower the knees and take your whole body down onto the floor. Slide the hands back beside the hips and lift up into an easy locust breathing. And follow your breath two more times as you exhale, come on down. As you inhale, lift, go a little taller, challenge that edge of resistance and uncertainty in your body. Come on down. Let your body be a metaphor for the great world that's going on at the moment. Lifting up and then lowering down. Hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes, come to the knees or plank and downward facing dog. And some people enjoy some stillness here for a couple of breaths. You might like to bring some fluidity and ease to your body, marching out the heels, rolling the shoulders, and just letting all that tension go from the neck that's a hot spot of stress and worry in your body. Let your head really dangle freely for a moment. Release the jaw, slacken between the teeth, and let the eye sockets just hang most heavily. Lower down onto the knees when you're ready. Sit back onto the heels. Place the fingers next to the feet and when you're ready, rise on up to an easy camel. And then let's repeat that little circuit one time, more with the breath. So windmill the arms forward, tuck the toes, inhale, arch the back. Exhale, go ahead and curl the spine. Look into your center. As you breathe in, look up. Breathe out, downward facing dog. As you take your next in breath, float forward, plank. Lower your whole body down onto the floor. Slide the hands back, lift the whole body, locust. And then lower yourself down, just one time through the circuit. Tuck the toes to plank or knees. Downward facing dog, catch your breath, ground the heels. Last time you focused on something that was feeling a little bit resistant. Why don't you focus this time on something that's feeling uplifted in your body? What feels good about an early morning down dog? The shoulders, the spine, the breath, the energy you're feeling, the warm blood in the brain. Focus on something that's feeling good in your body and expand that with the next breath. Why not? Beautiful. Lower the knees down to the floor when you're ready. Slide back onto the heels and just for one breath, an easy camel rising up. Elevate your posture, elevate your state of mind coming forward. And then take a downward facing dog. And from downward facing dog, you can transition walking your hands into the feet at the back of the mat. Go ahead and bend the knees and just roll yourself up slowly, slowly, sweeping the arms to the sky with a breath. Keeping the left arm up in the air, take a hold of the right foot with the right hand. And let's just gather in all your resources then for a moment to be centered and still. And when the time's right, find a diagonal that expresses your willingness. So just be right where you are. The human mind loves getting ahead of itself. It lives somewhere in the past or somewhere in the future. 
But right now, uncertainty means we just can't know what's coming. And the joy of yoga suggests, why not just be here now, where you are? So stay here, see this little flow through, bring the knee up into the chest, inhale, stretch tall. And then go ahead and take that right leg forward to the front of the mat, arms back, chest forward, an easy warrior three position, lift the back leg. Play your edge for a moment. What's that fine boundary line that propels you into the present moment? Make a good choice. Ease off, go deeper, take a breath. And to finish, pendulum the back leg forward. Come to the front of the mat, stretch tall. And just for a moment, take Tadasana. Close the eyes and allow yourself to be centered here. In the only moment that really counts. What are you feeling in that wonderful body of yours this morning? A factory of good energy. What feels good? What feels uplifted now? Focus on that. As Tony Robbins reminded me last year when I did some training with him, that he's not prepared to continue suffering for more than 90 seconds. It's a human choice to change your posture, change your breath, change what you're focusing on. So let's flow in this good state for a moment. Take the arms to the air, stretch tall. And swan dive forward and down, fingers next to the feet. With an inhale, half lift. Go ahead and step the right leg to the back of the mat, knee all the way to the floor. Take the left hand to the thigh and start circling the right elbow up and do a full circuit. Do that two more times on your own in a way that just makes that center of your chest, the emotional center that's just getting pulled down by all this fear and uncertainty, wake up. And on the last movement, bring those fingers to the floor and twist in the other direction. And as you stabilize and find center for a moment, ground into the earth, find your foundations, press through the front foot and rise into the fingertips in a way that helps you lift taller. Bring the fingertips down onto the floor when you're ready. Stay in the high lunge and then just release all that tension and holding into an easy forward bend. And then like just clearing the slate, like the wave washing onto the shoreline. Inhale, bend the front knee, high lunge. And then re-engage with the fullness of your easy mind, lower down. Maybe do that again one time. Inhale forward, look up to something bigger. And exhale, look down into yourself. And just notice what you notice here now. The conflicts, the tensions, the good feelings, the bad, held within the realm of your human experience. Wonderful. Come forward, place the hands to the floor, step back, plank pose. And all the way down onto your belly. If your spine feels good, take cobra, but make it a fluid cobra. Inhale, rise up, let your chest lead the way. Exhale, melt all the way back down. Breathe in, rise up again, Cobra. Maybe a little more this time. Exhale, melt down. Let your third eye brush the floor and at the last come up to your highest expression of this pose here now. Let your heart warmly engage with the earth. Hands under the shoulders, plank pose. And stretching back to downward dog. From downward facing dog, your right leg lifts, stepping all the way forward, dropping the back knee down onto the floor. Place the right hand to the thigh and take your three sweeping movements with the Left shoulder around. Let the chest lead the way. 
I don't know about you, I can't help but lift the corners of the lips when I do that because this movement feels good. Enjoy it. Savor what's working well for you. Fingers to the floor, twist, other direction. In times of uncertainty, it's so important to find your foundations. What supports you? What sustains you? Right now, it's your front foot. It's your back foot. It's your fingertips. Press down into the earth and receive that little upshift for a breath. And as the hand comes down, sink into yourself, leaning back, straightening the front leg. If it feels good, stay still. Many people like to flow. So if you want to flow, inhale, come forward. Unlock, release, look up. And exhale, look back into yourself. Full of feeling, full of grace. Inhale, forward. One more time, exhale and hold. Not just holding the pose, but as I like to say, holding that endless game, the dance of opposites, the good feelings, the bad feelings, the fear and the love, the joy and the sorrow, and the playing field of a human life, beautiful in its unpredictability. Come forward when you're ready, step to the front of the mat and balance with that fold onto yourself. You might like to rise through a chair pose, sweep the arms around, look up and bend the knees. And if your knees will work with this, lift the heels a little bit now and come right up onto the toes, but it feels a little unsteady maybe. Hey, the whole world's feeling unsteady, but find within yourself the center and maybe sink into that a little more. And maybe even a little bit more. Come on all the way down. Sit on the heels for a moment. Lift the arms tall. And then can you bring the arms around behind the back of the body. Interlace fingers. Stretch the arms back. Keep your center in an uncertain posture. And then if you could, bring the knees up. Stretch the arms forward. Even round the back a little bit. Look down. Trust yourself. You've got this. And then when you're ready, take the arms up. And if you can, look at me, mum, no hands. Drop your heels to the floor. Drop your hips to the floor as elegantly or not. Stretch the legs out into Navasana, finding your center. And not only finding your center, activate it. Squeeze the legs together. Draw in the lower belly. Press the hands like into a yoga block. Challenge the tendency to be pulled down and for a breath, rise up. Perfect. Lower the feet down onto the floor. Hip distance. Spin the hands. Reverse table. Lift up. And feel your center grow in energy and stature from your navel to the crown. Breathe. And when you're ready, go ahead and sit your hips down onto the floor. Cross the feet open. And put a little bookmark in that first tier of practice. Lower the hands to the knees and for a millisecond, close the eyes. Just in a way that is perfectly poised for you. Notice that state of mind now, here. Like a crystal clear vase that you could pour any colored liquid into, but the vase remains the same. You have within you an awakened mind and an awakened heart to hold this experience in its fullness. Take a breath into that, smile into that. Shift your posture to reflect that choice, to stay tall, When you're ready, inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Reach up. Just one round, lower the hands to the center of the chest. Liberate from belly to crown, open out. Feel good, why not? Bring the hands to center, and from center, lift tall. 
Lower the hands down around onto the knees. Curl one time. Look into your center and from center find your energy. Arch the spine. Look into your belly. Round. Inhale, arms to the sky. Left hand to the floor, side bend. And if you want to look up, look up. If you want to look down, or anywhere in between. Keep the hand on the floor, reach the top hand and clasp the right foot, drawing backwards. And if at any time my dyslexic yoga teaching self just gets the lefts and rights mixed up, you know what to do. You've got this. Take the leg back a little bit. Kick the foot out. It's hard to get real-time feedback on a Facebook Live. So you do what you need to do. If it goes pear-shaped, you've got this. Take the knee in against the front foot. Reach the arms to the sky, breathing in. And place the fingers down behind the back of the body in deer pose. Rise up to something that calls to you. How do you want to show up in these times, these next few months? How do you want to be for yourself, but more importantly for others? This is where yoga begins. The rest was just a warm up. Lower yourself down and sweep forward and melt your good heart. Extend a loving wish for your family, your parents, your children, your friends to be safe. May we all get through this well and persevere to practice kindness and love and to see the good in others right now, to open our walls from fear to possibilities. Come on up when you're ready. Circle the arms to the sky. And again, just for that moment, interlace your fingers. Really straighten the elbows. When everything wants to pull you down, go against. Look up. One breath. Rise tall. Place the left hand over onto the opposite knee. And feel your body as that connection between heaven and earth. The conduit. The breath. The spirit. The possibility of transforming the mundane to the exalted. Wonderful. Circle the arms to the air. Stretch tall. Breathe in. Roll over the legs. Find downward facing dog and stretch it all back. From downward facing dog, go ahead and walk your hands into the feet at the back of the mat. Bend the knees a little bit, roll yourself all the way to standing, rise tall. Take the left hand to the left foot, Natarajasana. Find your center, no hurry. We've got months sitting in our own home, so don't rush this. Take your time and practice the art of entering the here and now. Now see it through, stay with it. Find your resilient center, bring the knee up into the chest. Look out to the front of the mat, step that leg forward all the way. Bring the arms backwards if that works for you to begin and launch off warrior three. And then any arm variation that calls to you this time, arms to the side or arms forward. Dancing with that edge. Pendulum the back foot to the front, rise tall, feel good. And enjoy a few moments in Tadasana, closing down the shutters from the outside world, which we're all needing to do right now. And consciously go inside. 
to that eternal home within that speaks to you in different ways through dreams and insights through emotions and feelings as we move away from the world in this time we can move toward the inner world and forge a new relationship with a being that lives within us that is unbreakable like the strongest diamond can you sense that in your heart could you take a breath and hold the possibility of your timeless pristine self of your good and noble heart and from that space let us flow arms to the sky Swan dive forward and down, fingers beside the feet, take a breath in, half lift. Left leg steps to the back of the mat, high lunge, same flow, a little bit more advanced. Take the hand to the thigh, left elbow rises up. Find those three easy circuits and enjoy moving your precious body. Filled with health in this moment, an easy breath. One more time for good measure. And then place the fingertips down onto the floor. Twist it out. Yogi's choice this time. If you want to go further, take the front hand forward. Lift the back leg and move into a more dynamic twist. Looking up if it serves. Stay strong, stay grounded for yourself, but more importantly, others in this time. One last breath, rise up. Stay with it. Step all the way to the back of the mat. Sink the back knee to the floor. Lean into a deeper runner's stretch just for a moment. And activate the front heel into the floor. One time, unlock, rock forward, breathe in. One time, re-enter the field of your inner world. And it's always dancing with energy and teeming with life. And what feels good in your body in this moment? Uplifted. Where are those little pockets of peacefulness? Breathe into that. Share it with every cell in your body. Slowly come forward, hands to the floor, step back to downward facing dog. And depending on how you want to practice this morning, if you want to take this up a little bit or take it down, you can find a child pose or you can come to plank for a moment. And from plank, come onto the right hand and just wave to somebody outside that we mightn't be able to see for a while. Lift the arm to your friends and family. May you be well. May you be strong. May you be healthy. Switch sides, other hand to the floor. Wave to someone else in another state, in another town, in another country, in Italy, in Spain, in America. May you all be well. Hand to the floor and lower your body down warmly. From strengthening to stretching, take your right arm out and just roll over, releasing the chest. There's a space inside your being that burns with an eternal spark. Where is that for you? Is it the heart? Is it the brain? Is it the belly? Is it like a light in your whole being? Ignite that flame a little now. And slowly roll onto your belly and just switch sides while you're here.
Roll onto your stomach. Hands just a little wider than the shoulders. Rise to cobra. Lift up. And maybe even look up as your feet stay grounded. Your heart can soar. And melt yourself down onto your belly. Hands under the shoulders. Come to the knees or a full push-up. Downward facing dog. And let's complete this little circuit of class. Left leg to the sky, reaching tall. Stepping all the way forward. High lunge or low lunge if you need to. Left hand to thigh. And find those three sweeping movements in a way that allows your body to be the mechanism for feeling good. Smile into it, breathe into it, enjoy it. When you're ready, hand comes down onto the floor, other hand shifts. Optional, stay here or take it up a notch. Come forward, lift the back leg. And stay with it, see it through. Show up for yourself, fingers down, step back, sink the back knee to the floor. And go ahead and lean back and in to a deeper stretch, a point of release. If it feels good, one time to unlock the connective tissue, that nervous holding in your body, come forward. And then with a kind and loving heart, re-engage, maybe, to that edge. And it's not always easy to be in a growth mindset. And maybe right now, in the world, it's enough just to have a, more of a holding pattern. But not to go backwards, not to be stuck. Or well, maybe right now you feel like just really sinking through and letting go and finding that relaxed ease within the stress of this pose. Perfect. When you're ready, come on forward. Step back to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, go ahead and sink the knees down onto the floor. And sit back onto the heels if that works for your body right now. If not, you can come up onto the knees. Take the, let's say, take the right hand back behind you. And if you can, come into an easy low camel, rising up. Kick the shins into the floor, lift out of the earth. And then when you're ready, bring that left hand down and out to the side. You'll come off your mat and gate pose. Stretch this way. Nice. From gate pose, bring the knee back down. Right hand behind. One more time into the camel. Rising up. And then from camel, go ahead and come forward. Place that left hand onto your mat. And keep stretching the right arm into the air and rotating from your belly all the way to the fingertips. And we'll take two postures here. The first is a shoulder stretch. Just take that arm a little under, not all the way under. And then bring the left arm forward. So you lower your forehead and chest. You want to feel more of a deep shoulder stretch. I wanted to share that posture with you because... The posterior deltoid, the back of the shoulder, is often implicated in tension headaches, stress headaches. A lot of us are having a lot of that going on right now. So just sink into the feeling in that back pocket of the right arm and follow that feeling all the way into the back of the neck, the head, the occiput. And imagine almost like you open a window and let a cool breeze wash through. Breathe that breeze through your body into your brain, and clearing. And then we'll move on a little further. Take that left arm in a little bit and continue to slide the right arm under for more of the classic twist. Cheek to the floor, left arm up and maybe binding.
I have immense gratitude for the practice of yoga in my life in these moments in time. I hope you're enjoying moving your body. Come back into downward facing dog. And then with that same right side, take the right leg into the air, but this time bend the knee and just hook it up behind you a little ways. Lift through the center of the knee and ground the bottom heel. Press out through the hands. Just to lightly warm your body before pigeon, bring that shin in and across, but hover above your mat. Look into your center, press the hands into the earth. Inhale, rise the leg around. One more time, just hover. Press through your foundation, hands into the floor, look into your center. Last time, leg up. And then melt your body into pigeon, chin across the floor. And doing any version that feels good for you this morning, staying up, staying down. If you want to take it easier, just melt more onto the right hip. But when you're ready, go ahead and just melt inside your mind. And the power of presence. And the clouds of discursive thoughts sweeping through your mind space. And yet, and the timeless nature of your sky-like mind doesn't hold the clouds. It doesn't chase after the future. It doesn't dwell upon the past. What's right here is just the sounds of the day. And the soft belly as it breathes. And the sweetness of opening, abiding, being. You ever invented pigeon pose? You deserve the Oscar. The Academy goes to you. Bring the hands to the floor when you're ready. Step back to downward facing dog, just for a brief moment. And from down dog, sink the knees onto the floor. We'll begin to close this practice down on the other side. Left fingers behind into that half camel pose, rising up. Engage through the shins, lift through the heart. When you're ready, come on down, right hand to the side, left leg extends, gate pose. Leg comes back, one more time, left hand behind, camel rising up. Back bends are so, so good right now, they help us stay open when everything else wants to close. Bring the right hand to the floor, left arm up for a moment. From center, unravel your body, like knots in a rope untangling themselves. Take that arm under, just a little way under. More of a right angle, sink your heart and forehead, stretch the shoulder and back. What are all those little stresses that have been going through your mind and body? They live in your body. The back of the neck, the back of the head. Open that window, open that door, let that cool breeze wash through. Enjoy, smilingly feel a new space. Where just for today, it's enough to meet this day with the fullness of presence and possibility. Come on up a little bit. Slide that arm under a little further. Sweep the right arm around. And if it feels good to bind, go ahead and bind.
And place that hand down to the floor. Last downward dog for this practice. Step on back. Go ahead and lift the left leg to the sky. Bend the knee. And find your center as you just hover that shin forward for a moment. Find your foundations. Press through the hands. And then breathe a lightness as you float the knee up. And exhale a stability as you come forward and hover, like floating in this moment in time. Who knows what's coming next? Let's stay the journey. Knee up. And pigeon pose. Take the shin across. You know what to do. That stillness blanket your body as though resting under a midnight sky. And the twinkling of stars, like the bubbling of sensations in your body, all held within this infinite space of being. And that heart of presence, and that secret of all secrets that we find truly in moments of adversity more than any other moment. Right now is the time when we can truly wake up from fear to flow, and to support each other, to find that within ourself in these chaotic times. Go ahead and sweep that back leg around and just for a moment before Shavasana, find center sitting quietly with the hands on the knees. I'm going to invite you to bookend this whole practice to this point, closing as we began, sweep the arms to the sky, reach tall. Hands down to the heart, the center of your being, open from center out, look up. Slow it all down, hands to the heart from body to sky. Place the hands onto the knees. One time, curl your spine. One time, arch. And with eyes closed, find your center here, now. What is it about you that is unbreakable? It's not your body. It's not your bones. It's that ineffable spirit that unites us all. The intangible sense that you are you just simply are all of this. As Sri Nisargadatta once said, wisdom tells me I am nothing. Love tells me I am everything. And between these two banks, the river of my life flows. If you have the time, go ahead and just roll down onto your back for a few minutes of Shavasana. Stretch out, close the eyes. And if your senses are as alive as mine in this moment, 
And what are the delicate sounds of this morning that flow through your awareness? What can you hear around you in this moment? What does the texture of the touch of the air feel like upon your skin? And the soft, gentle rhythm of the breath in the nostrils, touching the lungs, filled with life, health and immunity. What are the sensations within the temple of your body you haven't yet noticed? The sweetness that comes with your whole body beginning to relax now and go inside. With that storm that's been building in your brain And like a dimmer switch, you just lower the lights in your mind. Just like that. And there's just a gentle glow of consciousness. And your whole body can dissolve. Just dissolve. From the head to the toes, from the mind to the heart, and you can find your peace in the center of the storm. the unspeakable peace that knows no other. The unfathomable stillness that calls from the heart of your being. And you can go there now. I was fortunate enough recently to drive through the forest near Tenterfield in New South Wales, an area ravaged by bushfires. And yet I was amazed to observe how quickly nature had begun to regenerate. And the green new growth was beautiful to behold. And after the cyclone, we build stronger houses And after the air disasters, we build safer planes. And out of this moment in time, we will prevail and you will be stronger. And so rather than just focus 
and what's pulling us down. I wonder if right now to close this practice you could bring to mind three things that are actually going to be positive for you that will build your house stronger, make your life safer and to create that incredible new growth. What are three things that will be positive for you in this time. And as you shift your frequency from fear to flow here today, know that you've done so with hundreds of other people connected in this community of yoga, whether in Queensland, in Australia or around the world. Notice the upshift and notice the change that you can begin to awaken into, breathe into, stir movement into. And come back into this day, riding that wave of new possibilities perhaps. Maybe it's enough to just feel a little better today than you did yesterday. And when you're ready to roll to the side and come on up to seated, let's close our class here together. And as you notice in your body, if there's anything that feels uplifted, anything that feels better now, a change in frequency, a shift in mindset, just sitting a little taller perhaps. Who's one person you'd love to dedicate this practice out to? Maybe for me, I know it's my parents. I've been a little worried about. So to you, I'm going to dedicate this practice. May you be well, may you be strong, may I see you in 12 months from now smiling, happy, healthy, joyful, may we enjoy a heart to heart embrace. For everyone on this practice today I look forward to sharing and embrace with you but for now let it be a virtual one. Thank you for sharing this practice. Much love to you all. Stay safe, stay well, namaste. We'll see you again soon for another practice on the deck. Namaste.